Welcome back, everybody. You got Will and I, man, here from the Block Runner Metazone, Roby and M Scribe, and we're back with another bitmap takeover. Yeah. Our weekly takeover <laughs> uh, continues. We got uh, 29.4 thousand people. Almost 30. Dude, that number actually go is going up. It's accelerating. It is accelerating. Every time we check on it, there's like 100 new owners. Pretty frequently. I'd say like every couple hours we got 100 new owners of Bitmap. So this is definitely unprecedented like Yeah, and this is pace. largely people who faded Bitmap probably getting into it. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think new regular people know or are aware about ordinals. No, yeah. Even less so about Bitmap. Not yet, but I predict they will very soon because of what we're identifying as the next pandemic, right? If you the yes. first pandemic was inscriptions set forth by ordinals, obviously. Yeah. It's now permeated through every single chain in existence. Yeah. At least some variant or some form of it. So the next pandemic is it's we're starting show to show you. Yeah. It's forming around this whole <laughs> let's leverage non arbitrary well actually we don't really know how these other variants of bitmap are manifesting. Yeah. But let's assume they're, they're very similar. Yeah, they're they're at least abiding by the principles of bitmap theory, which is, you know, non arbitrary yeah. value generation. So um so yeah, that's the killer metrics we've been keeping an eye on, right? Almost thirty thousand. Yeah. yeah, not only that, I mean, uh I think I think we need to look into uh the market cap real quick on mm -hmm. CoinGecko. So let me pull that up real quick and I want you to I wanna yeah. call something out here, dude. Okay. Right. Um, so, okay, so we're looking at bitmap. Uh, we got a fuller price around 0 0.005 and change, which is basically, pretty good. Yeah, fucking remember, these were f basically free mints. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> about six months ago. So, like a dollar at most, maybe $1.50 or something. Yeah, $234 right now. Unbelievable. But you click on Ordinal NFT and it ranks all the ordinals here, right? We click by market cap. Ooh, oh, damn. The market cap has number one. Damn. Yesterday was under Bitcoin frogs, dude. Well, they're, they're like neck and neck. Look at that, dude. They're like fucking buddies here. Yeah, but they were, <laughs> dude. They were the spread was three hundred Bitcoin from yesterday. Really? Well, yeah, dude. I mean, it's it's chugging along. Yesterday, the floor just cracked like two hundred bucks per bitmap. Now it's like yeah. two hundred thirty bucks, right? So bitmap just continues to steam ahead, which is crazy. Like, uh, I think we all kind of like, you know, we made our video like a month or two back. Mm -hmm doing our comparative analysis, like what we saw with the central land and like, yeah, remember mm -hmm. at one point during like the peak of the metaverse mania, yeah, people were spending like tens of thousands of dollars per parcel and such. And it's like that in comparison to how much the land sold for during its like ICO stage, which was like 25 like a 500 X or something. Yeah. Right? So we gave bitmap a 500 X scope, but you know, one of the contingencies was like bull market and like a new metaverse narrative, but, a new metaverse mania. Yeah. But there is no metaverse mania no. happening right now. Like every other metaverse thing yeah. in Web3 is kind of like just lingering around. Bitmap is just kind of like doing its own yeah. manic run. Yeah, it's you know? it's running on its own narrative. Yeah, it's it's metaverse is just like one of the features of yeah. the bitmap uh value proposition, right? That's right. So it's it's interesting. It's taking off taking flight of its own. Okay, so we're looking at bitmaps number one in, uh, I guess, all of ordinals, right? Congrats mm -hmm. to everybody. That's not what I wanted to show you. So you click oh, on not? NFTs. Damn. Okay. You click on market cap. <laughs> yeah. And you see Bitcoin frogs here, right? Oh, you love my frogs, rivets, rivets. <laughs> They're fucking cool. You know what's missing? Yeah, bitmap, what the deuce. Yeah, <laughs> right? But it used to be there. It used to be there. Like a, like a couple of weeks ago. And now it's gone. Yeah, because we took notice of that. Like, we were looking at, we were just kind of like, we wanted to explore the graveyard of Ethereum NFTs. <laughs> just yeah. kind of see where they were lingering at value-wise. And then through that exercise, we discovered, like, holy shit, the first, like, Bitcoin, you know, you see it over here, the um, uh, market cap column. Yeah. They're all ETH, 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 ETH. And the first one to say BTC was Bitmap. Yeah, it was. Time. And it still yeah. is, technically, but. It's not on display for whatever reason. Yeah, so Bitmap being what's supposed to be the six in market cap of all NFTs is wild. Yeah, it is wild. It's completely wild. And yeah, this is, uh, I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's kind of like a speechless type thing. <laughs> I yeah. feel kind of speechless considering where this thing all started like six months ago, you know? Yeah, and to me, I don't think it's that crazy that it eventually gets to a billion market cap, right? Like mm. top two. 
or top one. Yeah, I, I agree. I think again, like Bitmap itself has kind of like it's broken this barrier of like being perceived value wise as just like a metaverse land asset, right? Yeah. Because if because it's already crushing past all those expectations. Like if you actually do the quant exercise or like what's the actual <laughs> land value of like yeah the central land yeah you calculate the floor price of a land parcel it's probably like eight hundred dollars roughly thousand dollars yeah for for the central land parcel there's roughly a hundred thousand in existence i think so that's about a hundred million market cap that's for right like the whole land ecosystem of yeah what has been perceived as the most valuable metaverse in web3 because it was first Mm -hmm. first is first principle mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's already smoking that it's like a 2x plus yeah the value of decentraland at the land value layer yeah so that makes me think you know bitcoin is more than just a land ass or bitmap sorry yeah it's now it's people you know people like to say bitmap is the token mm -hmm. now we let's go to like metaverse token category now we can do like these comparative analysis to like mana right. and sand which is like hovering around a billion yeah right? That seems like a pretty obvious like next target goal. Yeah, like, I agree. Billion market cap. Yeah, and that's you're just talking about land, right? Like it's. Well, no. Yeah, well, I guess uh, it's like a. It's just a token. It's, it's a hybrid, right? It's, it's a hybrid token. It's a token that can that has fungibility, I guess, like utility potentially. Yeah, just because there's a lot of land. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of there's a lot of, there's a large unit of accounts, I guess, and there's a, a large and holder base. Yeah, and then, you know, think think about when we break it down to the parcel level, mm. right? There's 800 million and change. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's even more fungible-esque. Correct. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely bitmap is definitely something we haven't seen before in this space, which, is, again, also which attributes to the value. Yeah, exactly, contributes to the value because, yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, because we're, like, in real time, like, discovering these new, uh, you know, value propositions and such, so. So yeah. All right. So everyone tag Coin Gecko. <laughs> it's like Let's, put us back on the list. Yeah, I, I think it's important to have Bitmap listed here just because. See, but then you couldn't list it. Like, go to uh, the tokens. Like, go to uh, cryptocurrencies. Right here. And then go search by category. And let's find Metaverse on this list. I think I think the Bitmap community might agree. I okay. think I think we'd rather Bitmap be listed in, within this. No, 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 no. Why not, dude? Look at the be... scope of that market cap. Don't you don't you want it to be like a? Well, it, yeah, but yeah, I guess. But these are like fungible tokens, though. Like, but, and and yeah, we 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 posed an argument that yeah, it's Bitmap is sort of like a fungible token. Yeah, but it's de it's definitely for sure a non fungible token. It's definitely for sure not. <laughs> yeah, non fungible. <laughs> okay, so then all basically all it is is just. Bitmap is. I think you got to be one of the most valuable NFTs of all time, pretty much. Yeah, I think you got to compare apples to apples here. Okay, this Not, is apples to oranges. I mean, but it's like an apple slowly evolving into an orange, it's some hybrid <laughs> fruit, <laughs> uh, and and uh, an apple or a, a, an orange. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Bitmap is, dude. It's fucking weird. Yeah, and weird is good, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so going back to our list here. Yeah. Uh, Bitmap just hit 233, so we're talking about that. 185 million. Yeah, dude. So it's, it's basically, it's it, I think Bitmap is, I mean, a long time ago, I had this feeling, but now I feel like officially, because of Mononaut chiming in here, Yeah. I, I feel like Bitmap has crossed this inflection point of unfatable, <laughs> considering it is the most valuable ordinal... Uh, initiative of all time it's unbelievable that we were calling this on the drop dude literally i mean it's disgusting i don't know if we said it was going to be the most valuable ordinal but maybe no we did. we did oh we did okay i mean it's the most <laughs> valuable thing happening on bitcoin period yeah outside of bitcoin of course i mean for intrinsically like it's it's from our perspective because we're not like art maxis and such yeah we 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 didn't we didn't subscribe to the there's the art maxi culture of like, dude, there's nothing more valuable than figuring out art on Bitcoin. <laughs> but like, <laughs> right. That was like the sentiment of the time. I was like, why do you guys even care about the metaverse? We need to figure out how to make art like, yeah, badass. Yeah. Right. 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 And we're like, <laughs> like, that's cool and all, but you guys don't understand like what the metaverse 
is and the value yeah. potential of that. And they're just like, nah, <laughs> we don't want to hear that. <laughs> Fucking art, dude. <laughs> like, so was, there's a little bit of a, there was a conflict there of interests, I guess, literally. So to us, there's a glass ceiling with like pictures, right? It's just, you can do so much. Yeah. But the metaverse doesn't have that ceiling. It is, exactly. it is a, yeah. it is an uncharted frontier. It's beautiful. It's exactly what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and, you know, speculative assets, like, it's all about the blue skies, right? I mean, that's that's why people buy these assets because yeah. of the, you know, this uncharted territory. Totally agree. Uh, and, okay, so let's take a look at Mononaut. So we have, I'm enjoying watching the bidding wars to mint the next bitmap inscription for each new block. It's like a dollar auction where all parties lose their bids and <laughs> only the winner gets to keep the prize. That is pretty entertaining. What's even more entertaining is the tweets that follow. Mm -hmm. It says, for those of you who don't know about bitmaps, blah, blah, blah. It says, much to my chagrin, he says, one of the primary drivers of value in the bitmap market apparently revolves around what the corresponding blocks look like on bitfeed.live. And then eyeball roll emoji. It's yeah. like, you fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know, this is the, I don't know, he created that, right? Yeah, he did. He's the creator of Bitfeed Live. So he's like... The, the He's probably like, where's my kickback, you assholes? Like, where's my royalty? <laughs> you know, you guys are all making a fortune off of my what, what's crazy, rendering scheme. Yeah, what's crazy is that this comes six months late. I mean, it's yeah. this is this is what I mean by nobody knows what's happening on Bitcoin. Even the guys in Bitcoin don't even know what's happening. Right. Well, and yeah, that's what I mean by it. it's like unfatable at this point. It's yeah, it's front right. and center. It's in everybody's field of view at this point. It's and then yeah, the miners are over here fighting. That's right. Over like <laughs> over this thing, you, you yeah. can't like ignore it at this point. You know. Uh, do we have a tweet here for the miners? Which ones? <laughs> like the uh, miners where are the miners are fighting for for a bitmap? No, I thought that was a tweet, dude. I don't know. Well, oh yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. <laughs> you're right. There, there, but there was more. There was like more evidence of like actual mm. battle in terms of fees. <laughs> no, um, I don't have any war footage. <laughs> 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 no war footage aggregated, dude. All I'm right. sure the front lines are pretty pretty bloody out there. Yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ornal Ninja here. I made a quick synopsis of what I feel the three most fundamental properties of bitmap value are. I'm sure it's nothing uh, veteran bitmappers don't already know, but maybe it'll help those who are puzzled by bitmaps. Continuing rise in market cap. So we got the narrative, we got incentives, and we got future speculation. Yeah. So that obviously... pretty much wraps it up. <laughs> yeah. The narrative well. is pretty clear if you guys haven't been paying attention. Incentives, we got bitmap owners are eligible for claims of airdrops, BRC20 and TAP tokens. We got BMP, got .com, Troll, and RPG, parceling, and future benefits. So that's like the beginnings of basically like uh, the commodities layer to yeah. the metaverse, which we you know we know is coming. <laughs> like the metaverse is going to be a very complex ecosystem. Yeah. And it's not going to have like one token like governing the whole no, economy. It's going to be not. many, 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 many contributing uh, commodities and as digital assets. Just like real life, I man. Correct. <laughs> There's going to be value verticals wherever the eye can see. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, we need these mechanisms to generate these uh, these new assets, this new class of assets. Right. right. And yeah, bitmap. I mean, right now we have arbitrary means of doing that. These are all arbitrary tokens. Correct. And then in the future we'll have non-arbitrary tokens that contribute to this commodities layer. Yeah. So BMT is not in the list. It's all right. Understand. Yeah, yeah it's no big deal. It's not indexed yet, so uh, it's understandable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but bitmap being non-arbitrary, it makes sense that we have non-arbitrary tokens to support that. Makes sense to us, dude. I mean, <laughs> well, what do we know, dude? I guess. We don't know anything. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So we were talking about a new pandemic, right? Oh uh, yes. Dude, Charles Hoskins. It's been forever since I've yeah you said his name. Yeah. <laughs> I remember watching this guy like in the beginnings of Cardano. Yeah. His little whiteboard, like educational. Yeah, I, I remember him talking for four years <laughs> talking about how Cardano is going to take over the planet. He did, and he did. Well, it hasn't taken. Yeah, I mean, it's still around. It's clearly. still around, and yeah. it's one of the higher market caps too. It is. And it's chugging along. There's a community, and then yeah, they uh, they're embracing this new principle of uh, of metaverse, I guess, manifestation. Mm. All right, that so bitmap is inspired. Right? Check how the big, uh, the latest, uh, the last block has been on Cardano ADA. We saw that the inside the nine million blocks that exist inside of Cardano, there are only approximately 
340 blocks, 200 transactions. For example, in every Byron, the Epic Zero blocks with a transaction are a real diamond. Mm. Only 33 transactions in Epic Zero. So the topography of these maps or these blocks are obviously going to be radically different than what we see on Bitcoin. Correct. With 9 million blocks That's compared a lot. to 800,000. And like, because they get processed so quickly, there's less transactions per, yeah. per block, right? Which can provide a very um, yeah, it's unique own use case. Yeah, right? it's own use case. It's a very unique experience. Yeah, very like, you know, very, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, small community. Mm. You know, you, you want yeah. to have your family has their own. Yeah. Their own card map. Card map. You know, I, I have 30 people in my family. Yeah. <laughs> Each of you get a parcel yeah. of my card map. And it's like you guys can deploy, you know, your your shrine of your own children yeah. and such. I don't fucking know. <laughs> An Elon shrine, perhaps? No, that's just you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the only you are going to have an Elon shrine in your parcel. <laughs> Other people will have, you know, like, like normal a things. A cyber truck? Like, <laughs> no, dude. Like maybe like their dog or something. Oh, come on. Uh, dude, what do you mean? <laughs> like their their dog. Anything? Yes. Things with the soul, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. All right, but check check this out. So maybe soon we can get to play also with digital matter theory and we get to inscribe the parcels within our own card map. Nice. That's why I like to hear that. The principles of DMT are already spreading. Yeah. This might be pr the, the pandemic number, number three. three. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> the principles of DMT are will still have to be proven on uh, Bitcoin and TAP. Yeah. Using, you know, non-arbitrary tokens. But I think that's for sure coming yeah. <laughs> on the horizon. But yeah, these uh, that's the next step. Right. So we're still on pandemic number two, right? Number three is in the future. Yeah, that's another thing I haven't mentioned in forever, Tron. Yeah, right. What the <laughs> fuck? What is Justin's son? Like, how is he not in prison yet? <laughs> <laughs> they got CZ. How do they not get Justin's son? Right. You know? um, okay, so we got TRX maps. So Tron map is a community-backed metaverse protocol on Tron. Each land represents a transaction block number. Purchase your plot of land today. Wow. Interesting. So... It's spreading to Tron now. Yeah, and I think Stamp has its own variation too called Stamp Map, but it's not really. It's not. It's not the same. It's kind of like a graffiti board, like a pixel board. I think those are the guys not paying attention to what's going on. They just hear like, we need to map things, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like Stamp needs its own Stamp Map. So it's like, let's create something. Yeah, yeah. they didn't really understand. A I pixel guess. wall. Correct. So, But the point is, yeah, narrative, that's step one, spreading, proliferating. This whole metaverse mapping of things, that's the narrative that's kind of becoming um, viral yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Just like inscriptions and digital artifacts, right? So. Yeah. Speaking of viral, these cubes are going for 20 grand. Did you know that? Okay. Yeah. We're talking about VRC 420 now. That's right. So this is recursive IO fucking going absolutely bonkers. Yeah. Especially among the Chinese community, dude. They love this stuff. Yeah. This competes with the uh, value of a. Uh, Bitcoin the frog. frog. Mm -hmm. How many are there? There's 10,000 of these fucking things? Yo, this yeah. is like actually one of the highest valued ordinal collections, right? Yeah, I think so. Holy Toledo. How many, how many are there frogs? Huh? How many frogs are 10, there? 10,000 frogs. Oh, okay. All right. So why isn't this, is this not on the list of top NFTs? <laughs> Probably not Well, yet. I don't think they're, they're being indexed like wow. across the board yet, so... So this is crazy, actually. And this is a, this is a, that's a legitimate holder base, 2,744. Mm -hmm. This is impressive. Yeah. And uh, even more so considering this is like metaverse native. Yeah. Which is why we really like this BRC420 space, right? Because this is, this is proving mm -hmm. not only is there going to be like a commodities layer in the metaverse that contributes to this economy, there's a content layer, like a user-generated content layer that's going to contribute to this economy. And that's that's the beginnings of this. this well, is, these that, are all... That's the only way to build out the metaverse anyways. Yeah. Right? You're Nobody's going to do it by themselves. There's no one no, team, no, no one project. There's no way. It doesn't matter how funded they Even are. with AI, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it's... Yeah, it's not going to I mean, happen. maybe with AI. <laughs> but, but who wants that? Just like a single AI just builds out the whole virtual economy? I mean, that would be interesting to see, but... I'm sure they will come, but yeah. This is this is this is important. Okay, so you have to keep your eye on. I guess these boxes, dude. That's the new meta. Yeah, shout out to Jeff Recursive IO. Um, yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, this is crazy. Um, so yeah, uh, Coin Gecko. Let's let's get some. 
Let's get some stuff in order here. Yeah, let's get Bitmap back on there in its position of royalty. <laughs> top <laughs> top five <laughs> NFTs of all time. Right. Let's let the ETH Maxis know, dude. Yeah. Like, we're coming for their throats. And the Laser Maxis. That's right. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. All the Maxis. Yeah. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, let us know if we miss anything. If there's something brewing in the Bitmap space, let us know. Mm -hmm. We'd like to know, and we'd like to talk about it. And uh, appreciate you guys for watching, and we will catch you in the next video.